We begin with the ongoing crisis in Syria, and there are many developments around the world. U.S. President Barack Obama has said that he has concluded that the Syrian government did use chemical weapons against civilians in Damascus last week. Obama told American public television that he had made no decision so far on the use of military force, but he said Syria's alleged use of these chemical weapons had broken, quote, international norms. CCTV's Nathan King joins me now here on the set to explain all of that and much more. Nathan. That's right. Uh, U.S. President Barack Obama keeping his cards close to his chest when it comes to uh, military action. He said he didn't want a prolonged war, quote, with Syria. But he also said that he's convinced that the government of Bashar al-Assad have used chemical weapons, noting that the rockets were of a type only used by the Syrian army. He also said uh, that it was time for action for the international community since the deaths of maybe hundreds, if not over a thousand, in last Wednesday's alleged attack. We have concluded that uh, the Syrian government, in fact, carried these out. And if that's so, then there need to be international consequences. So we are consulting with our allies. We're consulting with the international community. Consulting, yes, but the U.S. president and administration officials are also indicating that they're convinced Syria used chemical weapons and may not wait for independent verification from U.N. weapons inspectors. Though he says he's made no decision, the sense now from the White House is not if but when a military strike will be taken against Syria. The only decisions left, according to analysts, is what the strikes will target and how long the operation will last. A short surgical set of cruise missile strikes and that can accomplish a great deal against key command and control regime sort of high profile sites like Republican Guard headquarters, the headquarters of the divisions that matter most, the secret police and similar sites. Even a day or two could get the message across quite thoroughly. The consensus seems to predict cruise missile strikes launched from one of the four destroyers in the eastern Mediterranean, or submarines. Launching aircraft to attack Syrian targets would mean eliminating Syrian air defences, known to be more sophisticated than those of, say, Libya. And then there is the danger of escalation. The US is indicating that it wants to limit the use of force to punishing Syria for alleged chemical weapons use only, not get sucked into Syria's civil war. It will be limited. There will not be escalation to a presence on the ground. The very essence of limited war is to keep your commitments limited. The U.S. Congress Mr. is in Bonner. recess until early September. While most lawmakers seem to support a potential strike, the Speaker of the House and political opponent to the White House, John Boehner, sent a long letter to the President Wednesday asking for more of an explanation of the U.S. strategy over Syria, perhaps reflecting the unease of many Americans. Top U.S. lawmakers, we just heard Elaine, by the way, are going to be briefed in secret on Thursday. But remember, also the Obama administration have legal hurdles, especially if they don't get that U.N. Security Council resolution. Now, they could uh, justify potentially a strike under the fact that uh, Syria has not come up to its claims over the Geneva Convention or broken uh, chemical weapons treaties or even to protect civilians, although 100,000 people have died in Syria before this alleged attack, so that's a bit of a stretch. Well, the president said earlier, you know, he hasn't made a decision, but everything you're hearing is that they can go at any time. Is the United States ready to go on this alone without the United Nations or without some of its allies? It's amazing that we're talking about this with the Obama administration that was elected on the fact that we need to re rebuild our alliances and not go, uh, not leave the UN out of it. But I, I think they, they are ready to go with some allies. They thought that the UK, uh, Britain was on board, but it looks like they're reacting tonight and saying, look, let's wait for the UN weapons inspectors uh, report. Remember, we got into trouble for not listening to the UN uh, back in Iraq, and there's a long legacy there. So uh, it's, the US is going to have to have a choice in the next few days about whether to go quickly or whether uh, to wait for allies. All right, Nathan King, thank you so much, you. as always.